You want to come out and hang out? Come on, hang out with me. Can I come hang out? He does not want to hang out for this video, so we will not make him. Good morning, reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Elle, and this is Elle's Reptiles. And this is Wade. You can't see him. He's in here. Even though I'm not holding him, he is the star of this show. And this week, we are talking all about the things that I wish I knew before I got a corn snake. Obviously, this is an entire series that we have done, and we haven't done the corn snake yet. So let's talk about that. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by iHeartGecko, so make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out all about this awesome company. Let's Let's get started. All right, so the very first thing that I wish I knew before getting a corn snake is just how easy they are. So we got the ball pythons before we got the corn snake. At that point, all those years ago, we always thought that ball pythons were one of the best beginner snakes. And boy, were we wrong. <laughs> corn snakes are so much better. They're so much easier. They're better eaters. They're so much less stressful. They're so much more active. I would recommend a corn snake over a ball python for a first time beginner snake any day. I still would've got my ball pythons. Love my ball pythons, but just didn't know how easy corn snakes were relative to them. Next up, ball pythons are escape artists. I know I've talked about this so many times because they are. If there is any semblance of an area for your corn snake to escape, they will find it and they will escape. We have not had any escapes in this tank yet. Everything is pretty sealed. There's no way he can escape. But in his old tank, the 40 gallon breeder, he would always find ways to escape, including lifting up the screen lid in the middle because we had a screen lid that opened on two different sides. He'd lift up the middle and escape. And we obviously always found him because he just liked to come out where everyone was. <laughs> Make sure that your tank is super, super secure before you even get that snake in there. Next up, they love to burrow. We knew that corn snakes were burrowers when we got Wade. We didn't know how much they love to burrow. So now he has a much thicker burrowing layer than he ever did before. It would have been nice to know that sooner just so that we could always have given him a thick burrowing layer. <laughs> Biggest advice here, make sure that your corn snake has a loose substrate because they not only will use it, but honestly, they need it. Speaking of loving to burrow, when your corn snake is about to shed, they may spend a whole bunch of time burrowed underground. So that means you might not see your corn snake for a week or so because they have gone underground to hide while they are in the process of being about to shed. When snakes are going into shed, they can't see very well because the scale that covers their eyes also separates just like the scales on the rest of their body do as well. So it is very, very difficult for them to see. Obviously, if they were in the wild, they wouldn't want to be out in the open when this is happening because they can't see if predators are going to come and try to attack them. So to fix that, they just hide underground or in a hide or just anywhere out of view. So if your corn snake goes missing for a while and you know that they haven't escaped, very important, then just take a peek, see if you see any signs of shed because they might be going into shed. Next up, they are fantastic eaters. Again, we had ball pythons first. Our ball pythons were not great eaters, so going to corn snakes, it was just so much better. He did have some issues here and there with eating, but each time it was because something was wrong in the tank or because he was about to shed. Usually they're not going to eat the week or so around their shedding time. Some corn snakes will just eat anyway. Other than that, make sure that their heat is good. Make sure that the temperatures are right. Make sure that all the conditions in the tank are correct. Make sure they have water and make sure that you're feeding the appropriately sized mice. Just make sure that you check everything. Next up, they also like to climb. So they like to burrow. They also like to climb. Wade spends a lot of his time, if you can see it, on this ridge on his background at the very tip top. If you can provide your corn snake a place to climb, go for it. Even putting something like a hammock in there, like a lizard hammock, a lot of times they'll climb of those as well. I know many people have bought our little mushroom ledges in order to put in there for snakes to climb on. I'm not sure how that goes. They're actually for lizards. Um, I don't know if the snakes pull them down or not, but people use them for that. Try your best to include climbing room for that corn snake. Speaking of all that, 
they're very, very active snakes. Definitely make sure to keep that in mind while you're handling them. They will go and go and go and go and go, unlike ball pythons that kind of just get in a position and sit in general. Corn snakes don't do that. They like to move, they like to explore, they'll wrap around you, they'll climb you like a tree, they'll wrap around things around you, and when Wade is out, he likes to wrap around this chair, and they like to explore. If you can. I made a whole video about making enrichment boards for your snakes. Corn snakes will adore these. <laughs> Since they are so active and they like to climb, exploring something like this every few days or whatever is fantastic enrichment for them. Just make sure to keep in mind if you are handling them that you are keeping an eye on them because they are fast, they are tiny, they can hide, they can get away and out of your view very quickly. They need room to explore. When we very first got the corn snake, we were under the impression that a 40 gallon breeder would be solid for this animal his whole life. Once he was in that 40 gallon breeder, we realized that he was too active for that and we got him in a three foot by 18 inch by two foot tank. He explored every bit of that. It still wasn't enough. He's now in a six foot tank and he explores all of this, all of the time. Give your corn snake the biggest possible tank that you can because they very, very much will use it and they'll appreciate it. And you can give them so much enrichment that way and they are allowed to be active and healthy and yeah. These guys will benefit from UVB. Again, when I very first got my corn snake, UVB was not even really talked about for corn snakes. At that point, it was said that they were crepuscular, so they didn't need it. He has a Shade Dweller UVB light. It makes a difference. He is so active with his UVB light. And again, he goes up here to this top thing and just lays out. When he is up here, he is under the heat light, far enough away from the UVB that it's not harmful, but he is all also getting UVB. They will benefit from UVB lighting. And if your corn snake isn't eating, maybe try adding UVB because that could potentially help. And the last one is that unlike ball pythons, corn snakes can and sometimes will poop on you when you are handling them. I was used to ball pythons that really just poop when they shed and it's all nice and neat and clean-ish, but with the corn snake, anytime he is being handled by someone with warm hands especially, or once he starts wrapping around warm bodies, he usually poops. This is not something that I really expected when I first got my corn snake. So make sure that you keep that in mind when you are handling that snake. If you see that around their cloaca it starts to bulge, then maybe put them back in their tank for a minute or put them in a sink uh, or a bathtub or somewhere it can be washed away for a minute just so that they can do their business and be free. But that is it. That is all that I have for this week's video. Not a care guide, just a things that I wish I knew before I got a corn snake. If you want to add anything to this list, please do put it in the comments below because you could be helping out someone that is getting a corn snake soon. As I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by I Heart Geckos. I Heart Geckos is a super cool company that makes conversion kits for tanks, just normal old glass tanks that you may have laying around. Those conversion kits turn them into very well ventilated front opening tanks for your animals. These are fantastic, super high quality. They last a long time and they make it more comfortable for your animal when you reach in to grab them instead of reaching down to grab them. Make sure if you do order one from iheartgeckos.com, you leave Els Reptiles in the How Did You Hear About Us box. That way they know that you guys are coming from here. Thank you so much to iheartgeckos for sponsoring this video. If you haven't already, please feel free to follow me on my socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put out a new video, which is every Sunday and some Wednesdays. Maybe. This week's Instagram shout out is here and this week's subscriber shout out is here. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing and following and commenting and sharing and all that jazz. You are the bee's knees. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. Point. All those years ago. It's been, it's been a very long time. I'll let your corn snake climb if, if you know, if you have a, mm, try, if you have not already, please feel, yeah. If you have already. Okay. We're done.